Welcome once again to our channel, Karma Pro. And I'm here going to discuss about adrenalics, a very important topic in genetics. That is related to the population genetics, that is heart and liver problems, related to the blood group, okay, which is very important for an exam and for the perception and understanding, comprehension about the population genetics. Okay, but uh, I'm uh, not going to discuss about it here at my resting place. This is my resting place, not working place. So, uh, just uh, we will discuss this topic on an open ocean. Okay, standing over in an Arabian Sea. You will really like it and understand the concept very well. Okay, so let's be back right now. So welcome back friends we are here at the problem page actually this is not the problem but the problem is hidden inside it just check it out so here you can clearly see that this is the question this is the problem based on the blood group now among 92 students of a college following phenotypes were observed so four blood groups have been given so blood group A students are 30, 63 in number, blood group B are 31, AB 06 and O blood group are having 92 in number. Now the question is calculate the gene frequencies of genes IA, IB and IO. So this is not the problem which we solve usually regularly with the two alleles. Okay. So capital A and small a or capital T small t. So these are the two alleles usually we deal with. So first of all clear some of the basics. Actually we discuss, we will discuss some basic related to the two alleles. So when we deal with the two allele problem, allele capital A and allele small a so we usually use these two equations p plus q is equal to 1 and p square plus 2 pq plus q square okay and this is here the law that allele and genotypic frequency in a population remain constant from generation to generation if there is no any evolutionary influence so these are the influences that is the genetic drift mate choice assertive mating natural selection sexual selection mutation gene flow so all these are we can say the theoretical basics that already you have known about 
now what we are more interested in here the solution of the problem so here you can clearly see that small p is for the frequency of allele a okay and q is for allele small a now this capital in small a instead of this we have one more allele here okay a b and o so what is about the third allele so this is here the important question here so p square stands for here the frequency of individual capital a capital a a a okay q square is for the frequency of individual small a a so this is for the dominant individual dominant allele and this is for the recessive one and for the heterozygote individual the frequency of heterozygote individual will be 2 pq right so these are the two formulae which we use usually in order to derive in order to measure allelic frequency and genotypic frequency respectively right now we are dealing it here with the three allele so what are these three allele here is important to know about that a b and o okay so o is here one more additive or addition in this number of allele now see now here a stands for p p means a actually q and r right so the formula which we have seen earlier it will change p plus q is equal to 1 changes to p plus q plus r is equal to 1 then p square plus 2 p q plus q square is equal to 1 changes to p square plus q square plus r square plus 2 p q plus 2 p r plus 2 q r okay so when you uh, multiply the two brackets that is a p plus q and p plus q okay so you will get p square plus 2 p q plus q square but when you multiply p plus q plus r okay here he, here you can clearly see that p plus q plus r and here it is is equal to 1 so when you multiply this p plus q plus r then you will get this extension in that formula now next to this come to the problem that here only we can get direct gene frequency of only blood group o okay there are some reasons for that because a blood group are having two genotypes that capital a capital a capital a and capital o okay a a a o we can simply refer like this and we can say we can infer from that that it may be homozygous or heterozygous now here b is having now capital b capital b capital b capital o these are the two genotypes for a single phenotype so these are the phenotypes a b a b o these are the phenotypes right and these are the genotypes so for a and b there are the two genotypes so it is also again homozygous or heterozygous for a b there is i a i b or a b simply we can say so this is what we can say it is always heterozygous and for o there is only a single genotype but it is always homozygous so ab is always heterozygous o blood group is always homozygous and a and b these are the two blood group may be homozygous or heterozygous because these are the two here are co-dominant to each other and dominant to o even which is always homozygous and the o blood group is recessive to a and b so these are again some preliminary or primary basics that you have to you must have to know about okay so come to the point here that we have here the formula p square plus q square plus r square plus 2pq plus 2pr plus 2qr so here if you want to measure the gene frequency directly so here we can derive the gene frequency of only o 
okay because it is having only one genotype now see further that among 192 students so these are the again the numbers or data which we have given and these are the genotypes of these four blood groups now for a and b these are the two genotypes that's why we cannot directly derive their gene frequencies for which we can uh, we can easily find out the gene frequency of o that 192 students are there okay and uh, o is 92 so out of 192 total students o blood group student are having 92 in number so after dividing that we will get this gene frequency of o that is 0 0.4791 so i am taking complete uh, all digits here and we can maintain these complete digits even afterwards now see for the gene frequency of a allele individual only so we can derive we cannot derive directly the gene frequency of a allele or gene a okay so here we can say that we have got still that number that 0 0.3281 3281 okay but what now uh, what we have to do in order to derive the gene frequency of A allele, capital A allele, okay. So for that we have here the formula that P square plus Q square is plus R square plus 2PQ plus 2PR plus 2QR. Now in which we have to tally or we have to just give the particular signs for that that p square is equal to a a q square for b b and r square for o o okay so these are here the genotypes for that and these are the frequencies p q r these are the frequencies and these are here that genotype okay of that particular allele so small p is equal to a actually a b o these are the three alleles are there now that's why the frequencies of each of that uh, is re respectively p q and r okay fine now in order to take the freq gene frequency of capital a allele so we have to take these two parameters or these two frequencies into the consideration now p square plus here 2 pr okay so here we will get the gene frequency of capital a allele that is the p square plus 2 pr is equal to 0 0.3281 so here we have got the 0 0.3281 this is the gene frequency of a allele individual now but we have to derive that a a here a, a and a o okay these are the two genotypes here which we have seen there are the two genotypes so we have to find out p square we have to take p square plus 2 pr okay and is equal to that number which we have got earlier now after solving we will get we will get here that p square plus 2 pr and uh, take that number to the left side of that is equal to mark then we will get 0 0.3281 is equal to 0 okay so next to this here we which we have got here that this equation so by putting r value so we have got r means gene frequency of o is equal to r okay so this this is the value of small r okay so the small r is the gene frequency of capital o so we can easily put in the bracket here okay add this or in place of that small r okay and after solving what we will get that we have got here actually the quadrant equation the quadrant equation is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero 
if you see this equation so here after solving we have got p square plus p in bracket 0.9582 minus 0 0.3281 is equal to 0 okay after multiplying this 2p with this bracket we have got this number so this is actually the b okay so here a x square so this is the variable this is the x square and is it is analogous to the p square and one is our a okay and here we have the small b the small b means here the 0 0.9582 and here small c is nothing but 0 0.3281 now how to solve that coordinate equation simply actually we are using the one KCO calculator which I am going to put the mobile screening later on here but before that let us assume or consider here a is equal to 1 because there is no number here b is equal to 0 0.9582 and c is equal to minus sign is important here minus 0 0.3281 okay so we can put this a b c values in this uh, equation so you can get the value of x value of x means here you will get small p and small p is nothing but the gene frequency of a i a okay so uh, after solving this we will get two values one is negative and one is positive but the gene frequency is never negative as you have known about so we have to reject negative value and consider positive value as a frequency of p okay so that is the frequency of gene a that is what we are going to calculate now i will show you the mobile screening in which easily you can calculate easily you can put this number a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero so this is the polynomial distribution actually and a quadrant equation which is very famous in algebra so we have to use that calculator so i will also show you that how to operate that calculator how to download or install from the play store the description has been given uh, actually the link has been given in my description of this video you can check out below okay so we will get these two values okay that small p is equal to minus one point 2258 and small p is equal to positive here 0 0.2676 so we have to reject here minus value or negative value and we have to take this positive value into the consideration because gene frequencies are never minus or not more than uh, one so these are the two reasons that is why we have rejected this number okay so now we can check again the mobile okay so i will take to you my mobile screen hello students so i was telling you that instead of using that quadrant formula here you can use a scientific calci that is namely as kco engineering calci okay so here you will get that uh, quadrant formula directly so you have to put your a d and c values so where you will get it from that you have to press that mode and uh, then you can choose your a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero okay so press it here and then you have to put your a b c values now a, the value of a is your one okay so you have to press the is equal to button and then the value of B is 0 0.9582 okay so you have to press for the is equal to button and then value of C is minus 0 0.3281 okay so you have to press for the is equal to button and then 
two times you have to press is equal to button first time you will get negative value and the second time you will get uh, positive value and our allelic or genotypic frequency is never in negative symbol or negative sign that's why you have to reject the negative value which you, uh, you will get and you have to take the positive value there okay so press it further so here you have got minus 1.22 okay so this is the negative value so we are not considering it further place press here is equal to button and then you will get here 0 0.2676 okay so this is the value of RP means the genotype frequency or gene frequency of IA or A blood group okay AA so this is what all about this calculator as far as this problem is concerned now how to download and install it from the play store already I have given it the link of this is uh, in description so you can install it from there okay thank you so students uh, here we can see, uh, apply the same method of this calculator okay of the quadrant method for the capital B capital B B O means for this uh, here the for the gene frequency of capital B right so we can just move this that is for the Q square and for 2 QR okay so uh, you can take the values okay just put the values which we have got here from the Q uh, and uh, then you can easily put that number in it okay so this is for what for you can easily calculate the Q but one more simple method is there for deriving the Q value so now we can calculate value of Q by using the following formula now this is a simple formula P plus Q plus R okay is equal to 1 so here we can see which we have got the two values of the P and R so we have put in it 0.4791 is for P and 0.3281 is for R now we have to calculate the value of Q now this sum of this if it is equal is equal to 1 so we can further solve this by taking this 0 0.8072 okay this is the sum of P and R we can take out uh, right side of the is equal to mark and minus it out with uh, 1 so we will get here the small k is equal to 0 0.1928 okay so we have here now the gene frequency of a means small p is equal to 0 0.4791 okay and gene frequency of capital a means small q is equal to 0 0.1928 and gene frequency of uh, of b and here the gene frequency of o okay and gene frequencies of o okay as we have seen earlierly that small p is equal to gene frequency of capital a q is for capital b and small r is equal to capital o okay and these are the three values which we have got earlier okay so now here important to calculate or tally your answer if you put these values okay p plus q plus r okay in both of these formula if you put p plus q plus r okay and in this you know, extension extended formula is also there p square plus q square is equal plus r square plus 2pq plus 2pr plus 2qr okay so sum of these two equations will be always one because allelic frequencies or genotypic frequencies will remain the same okay in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium 
so this is here it is salt and thanks for watching students and friends if you have liked my video and uh, this kind of this stuff if you want to repeat again or if you want to get further so please like share my video and please 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 subscribe my channel thank you very much have a nice day ahead